now. Yeah. Uh, we're on air. Yeah. Oh, on air. Out. Oh, uh, out. On air. Again, now. Yeah. Today. Wait. We're, uh, we're changing the airspeed. Again? Zing. This again. is brand new. Again. For right here. Yeah. RealLibertyMedia.com. Yeah. First edition of, of. In a Perfect World. Yeah. In a Perfect World. Contrasting the occupation <laughs> with Flash, that guy over there, Hello. and me, Vinny. That's, Hello. that's me. I'm not him. It's it's wild. Yeah. I thought it would be. Well, we were just to uh, identify the difference between the two shows. So it looks yes. like, well, I really dorked out this week and, and proved to the world I could do a two-hour show. <laughs> By doing three. Completely whacked out of my mind thinking uh, I'm looking at the clock going, didn't lost complete track of time. I was looking at the clock reading the hour wrong. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> it was fun. how to beat the system. Yes, that's how to beat the system, and, and sometimes lose. <laughs> <laughs> so I've put a little bit together here, and uh, we'll uh, I'll blurb it along here as we go. And uh, um, we're we're contrasting the occupation, right? So crashing the train, mad as hell, sold in mass. It is in the new spirit of postmodernism, and we're all in it together. One minute at a time. Whether we yeah, like right. it or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The message. So this is right. But the message behind the message. It's true, but it ain't true. We're talking about the poor stage of a rebellion. In we are in one. Yeah, we're for in one. free will. Um, so I, I, a little short review, and uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll come back here, okay? But say uh, hi to the RL Emmers before I. I will. I, I, always, I will. Yeah. But I'm going to I'm gonna do it just a little bit differently. Okay. So Let's see yeah, what you got yeah, I'm, tonight. Yeah, I'm hijacking you. Yeah, we'll okay, start well, out with a little. Do the, do the, the name of the show. Song. Wait a minute. But do it. Like I did. I did. It, In a perfect world. Yeah. Contract. You didn't do all the where we get play, put on the sh radio at and all that. You're being very vague, so you could read your story. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Vince. Calm down. Don't have a stroke on I me. Mean, I, I need the help on the radio. Uh-oh. Did I lose him? I think, yep, I sure as hell did. Anyway, I'll get Vince back. He's been having a little uh, Skype problem with me during the, during the uh, day. So I'm not surprised that the Skype kicked his little redneck ass off its services and made me have to call him back. There he is. Bading, bading. Okay, so just hang up on me then, huh? No, come on, you know better. <laughs> I know better. Okay, so we're back, and this is uh, the first edition of In a Perfect World. Uh, contrasting the occupation with Flash over there hey. and uh, me right here. And today I've uh, subtitled it uh, Wild, How to Beat the System and Lose. And, and uh, today I'll be uh, uh, throwing in some little barbs along the way. And I'll start out with one in a minute. But the, the wild, we'll see where that wild comes from towards the end. But How to Beat the System and Lose uh, or Crashing the Train, Mad as Hell Sold in Mass. In the new spirit of postmodernism, we're all in this together, one minute at a time. <laughs> I said already, yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, let me run through a little bit right here, and then uh, then we'll come back over to the chat room, and uh, we'll give a big howdy to the, the folks over there, at Real Liberty Media. Um, so, talking about escaping or mocking the system over here uh, at Wisecrack, and uh, I've uh, included the. Uh, the link that you'll find if you're listening, come back over to Real Liberty Media on the blog page here, Wisecrack on YouTube. And uh, so, anyways, uh, uh, the system wins in a way when you're uh, when you're escaping. It's exploitive. Um, they're contrasting some of uh, this, uh, uh, some movies and so forth. Uh, Black Mirror, uh, talking about the digital swag, you know, sitting around and that's what you uh, that's what you work for. Um, Sold in mass. It's uh, live from the system. Uh, in questions, is resistance uh, even possible? And, and it, he talks uh, about Charlie Chaplin and back in the days of uh, tightening rivets uh, and keeping you happy that way. And also the Fight Club. Um, 
your life uh, ending one minute at a time. Also office space and poverty and wages and uh, in, uh, economic output. Uh, work hard until you die. Uh, Rick and Morty. Uh, wait, network, uh, Howard Beale, you know, that's mad as hell. Back that up. Uh, down to Rick and Morty, if, uh, if you're Rick and Morty fans. Uh, rebellion, uh, rebellion and disillusionment. Uh, disillusionment. Uh, we'll call this uh, Project Mayhem because it does sell. It's uh, called the uh, Active Rebellion where Neo is not so new. Do you see? Hey, Flash. What? Um. There you go. There's yeah. that. Well, yeah. So I'm switch uh, switch windows back here. Yeah. Uh, we'll come back over and say, how'd he do? Oh, that's my favorite part. I must be a sentimental slob. Well, yeah. One Don't tell two. anyone. They'd never believe it if it didn't come <laughs> out of me anyway. So wh- yep. who, where are we at? We're, we're at to say the how'd he do's. Oh, yeah. Hello. I was trying to open that up from uh, Grimner too on Larkin Rose. I don't know if it opened yet. Uh, Whining versus uh, resisting. Mm. <clears throat> so uh, I put together this kind of a soundtrack, and uh, you have to play it yourself. And I see. Yeah, it'll be in the blurb. Okay. The blurbly blob. That so too. what do you think about this uh, system we're in? Uh, it's uh, occupying. I despise it. I thought I was clear being about occupied. that. Yeah, I despise it from every possible way there is to express the word without shooting somebody. Do you try to um, evade it, avoid it? Um, I remember we talked about this here. Yeah, Whine would, about it? No, it'd be more like avoid and, and recognize what's true as opposed to what I'm told. <laughs> We're gonna. I have some stuff down here a little later on. Mm. For we'll we'll flash back to that. Uh, let's do that. Flash, flash. I was taking. A, I don't know. Let me Maybe see if I can get this one up. I, Maybe you are stealing the money. I don't know. You are do. You are capable of many things, my illegal friend. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's long. I don't know <laughs> the law. That's very long. What is? <clears throat> this uh, from Grimner from Larkin Rebus. I met him in 2014. You've That's mentioned that, mister. Yeah. You name-dropping fool. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, because, well, you know, it's kind it's of very an, long. It's kind of an accomplishment, though, to get out into the world and, and do the shit we've done. At right. any level, sure. Well, because uh, it's a whole lot easier to stay home and watch TV. Luckily for me, I didn't spend as much time doing that as was available to. Let me read the bottom of it. Completely outlaw dissent and banned all religion except for the most popular religion, worship of government. I hope they make all private gun ownership illegal and nationalize all industry. I hope they repeal the Constitution outright, declare martial law and post gun toting, jack booted fascists on every corner. I hope they impose a 100% income tax and seize all private property, and I hope they start arresting all who complain, throwing them into concentration camps and torturing and executing them because it all happens. Maybe, just maybe. Americans will grow a spine and start acting, actually resisting. And by resisting, I don't mean pressing buttons in voting booths or writing your congressman. I mean the real kind of resisting, disobeying the masters. Unfortunately, I'm not sure the American sheeple still have it in them to do that. No matter how bad things get, we'll know for sure soon enough. Larkin Rose. Yeah, well, it's... Because living abroad, I I look at America from a different perspective than I did when I lived in it. And did you what? did you live as abroad in in San Francisco? You're funny. <laughs> wow, come on, Vinny. Anyway, so I'm seeing the the push comes to shove shit in this uh, in the political game. It's a way it's a different. Hander. It's a way different world now than it was when Obama was running it. You think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
you have hope. No, because Trump hope. promised. So, no, Trump par- promised to not start any more shit, and America's up to their fucking eyeballs in more war shit. So. Oh, I I forgot to give the warning of uh, uh, use of language. Yeah, yeah, it's like noon here in the, the Americas. Yeah. Oh, so okay. Well, to the tender of heart, um, go do some gardening. Go do some gardening. Yeah, because this probably isn't for you. <laughs> right. I I was gonna say that and I forgot. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. But forgot. Yeah. Well, you started so if out. There's, uh, you started if, out with movies, you know, and uh, movies. I know a little bit about TV, not so much. There are a few shows from TV I grew up with that I liked that I can remember, but not many. And the stuff that I liked is hard to find on YouTube now. They're taking all that copyright and they're just destroying all. You can't steal nothing anymore. <laughs> you have to pay retail on, on YouTube. <laughs> wow. For, for huh? old TV shows. Yeah. It yeah. should be public domain by now legally. I mean, two two ninety nine. What a deal. Well, it's not the point. It's just that it's old. It was free, you know, through the airwaves when you saw it the first time. And now they want to charge you to get a copy of the original. It's a brilliant scam. We're all being hustled. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know, some some uh, copyrights uh, never got renewed. So there's a lot of uh, free public domain. Out there. <laughs> see, see, and then you throw in all that legal bullshit that you guys like to play. And then it makes it makes the soup more tasty. Then there's. Then there's the illusion of choice. That that makes it uh, more interesting to play in. You know. Hey, I, let me give you this P.S. Be, what? from uh, Larkin Rose. If there, oh, uh, there's if more. there's anyone you know who you wish understood the difference between whining about injustice and resisting injustice, get him a copy of the Iron Web. I gave that uh, book to my brother. Did you read it first? No. <laughs> then why'd you give it to your brother? Well, paper, he needed a paperweight. Uh, <laughs> needed no, something to throw at the he's dartboard. A big reader. Yeah, no, he read it. Um, oh, okay. I was planning on getting it back and reading it, but I never did. You know, carrying around a, a lot of books and stuff uh, on the road, you got to kind of like. I, he's a good depository. Oh, what what's a depository? It's not a suppository. Well, what is it? I I figured it wasn't that, but I wasn't quite sure. You don't know what, what a you, depository is. N- I'm asking you what like, you mean like by a, a depository. Now, apparently, a place I didn't where get you, it. a place where you put books. Oh, like a library. Well, yeah, but except for uh, yeah, well, nobody's going to come to in mind there that, with well, a card and and like you, check out the book I gave them. You live in rural Arkansas. I thought you had it confused with an outhouse. Uh, no. I, Sorry, I didn't get it, so I stopped you to ask I, directions. Now we're on the same road again. Continue. Maybe maybe we should go back to this further definition of uh, the versus uh, vices and uh, vice versa. Oh, perhaps we should. No, let's not. Okay, All let's right. not. But, uh, then I'll throw the gun go, right at you. Go go check out Larkin Rose if you like. Uh, hey. Pretty popular with uh, some of the folks around here. What do you Let think? Let me come of, back over. I got a lot of windows open. I'm yeah, coming back over. But what do you think of my bringing back dueling stand? You never did comment no, on it. No, no. Yes, yes, I did. It, I, I told you it's huh? uh, no because what? the uh, bully, the bully would uh, um, overpower those uh, less able to stand. Yeah. And, uh, then they'd probably like have to start hiring uh, professional duelers and in the. Uh, it would turn into a sport, and then pretty soon you'd have to build stadiums, find advertisers, you know. Uh, <laughs> I like to do it. My Nikes. Drink and get well, right. Well, you, you, obviously you don't understand what I mean by it then, do you? See, like I, I believe that <laughs> if you put your trust in dueling, crime would go away in three working days. Because you wouldn't call the police anymore. You'd confront your enemy, whatever the crime, and no matter how severe it was, you'd slap him in the face with your gauntlet, and you got four hours to prepare for the firing thing, where you go point a gun at each other, and whoever's faster or accurate wins. Well, I think the guy that is challenged gets the uh, choice of weapons. Right, but when you get challenged, you have the right to puss out and not go 
die over your fucking stupid belief. You don't have to duel. You're choosing to. So I think that. So let's take a for instance. Why would be one reason that you would uh, uh, be called upon in a duel or you yourself would do the calling? You cheated me in, in a transaction. Okay. You promised so, this. You gave that. It's not the same thing. I challenge you to right. pay up or. So you me. slap me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the gauntlet. It's all very dramatic. Whoops. Come back here. What? Yeah. People happened? tend to shy I, I, away from real violence, so I, I, I think it would work. It's way easier to push a button and bomb somebody than it is walk up and shoot them. That's TV talking. I challenge any of my RLM listeners to tell me how many times have they committed the act of murder with a handgun. And I come up with none. Zero. But that's just me. And except for right, well, except for the folks that were military, that could have been their thing. But you know, that's a byproduct of a contract. There. Do, yeah, to me, it doesn't define the person. <coughs> Perfect. Just With a book, yeah. look. What? Thank you, uh, Miss RLM. Oh, uh, you slapped me in the head. I got a dot slap flash, and what happened? Wow, you slapped me in the head with a book. Wow. It's like sometimes she reads my mind. I'm going to cry. I just got slapped in the head. with. Wow. What'd you do that for? You don't like my opinion? No. That was, uh, no, I slapped. That's how I, I challenge you to a duel. Okay. Now so, then, right. my challenge to you is, yeah. is now take the opposite point of why dueling as a general uh, practice would not be a good idea. Can you well, do that for me? You say you can take both sides. So I'd like you to. Take well, a stand against yourself. I would say it would be a bad idea to somebody that was a fucking coward and a thief and didn't want to pay for his crime. But somebody that had honor would say, fuck yeah, I'll, sh I'll fight. I didn't cheat you, and this is the proof of it, and you're lying. Or I did cheat you, and I'm running like a scared girl because of it. See, it wouldn't Oh, wait, change so the there's something that will happen before anybody's pulling. Uh, oh, yeah, triggers? you, of course. You have to cl make your claim. It would be similar to the court system we have without all the bullshit. You know, uh, who's Mr. the arbitrator? Right, here, I'll give you. Here's Mr. John and Mr. Steve, right? And Mr. John sells Mr. Steve a cow for a, a undisclosed amount of money that only the two of them know. See, but they wrote it down. So then Mr. Steve says, "Hey, that's not the right amount of money," and challenges them to a duel. Oh, you're right. I made a mistake. I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh, you caught me. I made a mistake. Okay. I, I didn't do anything. That brings on the bullet. And then you go, well, if you're going to deny my claim with a no proof, we're going to fight over it. And I got a theory, <laughs> okay, so. that, I got a theory that only in extreme cases would it ever go beyond the de deciding factor. People would come to their, their senses and be more intelligent about their decision making. Because of the threat of a bullet. And all this from a guy that doesn't own a gun. Because I don't Is own there a gun. Like, will there be like a national uh, depository for guns? Like I, books? But see, my stand is I, I wish they just arm <laughs> everybody equally and let nature take its course because I ain't afraid of no fucking guns. I'm afraid of me having one and being drinking one night and shooting somebody to see what would happen. In a drink. Really? Yeah, I'm crazy See? when I drink. I wow. do crazy stuff. So, no, keep the guns away from really? me. Really? Yeah. It's, so there there needs to be a law to protect people from people I have, like you? No, I make my own fucking law as I go. What do you mean there needs to be a law? I could be around guns no, if I, I want I'm to. I'm asking you. Asking me what? Should there be a law then? No, there shouldn't be any law. There should just be dueling as a way to, to su settle your differences. It worked, so, like, it worked just fine when they started the U.S., and they, they pushed it aside because it worked too well. Well, wait a minute. Let's look at it like this. So let's say your neighbor uh, uh, is out walking his dog, or maybe he just walks out to piss off his porch. Uh, should he be packing a pistol just in case? Sure. You know, you're not? drunk and drunk and wanting to sh shoot somebody to see. Uh, yeah. What Shit. Yeah, arm everybody equally. Little kids, grown-ups, Who's going to arm people. them? Where, do, where do they get their guns? At the gun place where they sell guns. What? 
So everybody then is forced to buy a gun or Ex you have the option let's, not having a gun? Let's just say expected to. <laughs> <laughs> They, they're expected to be armed. If they're not, they get shots on them. You know, they're, then there's nothing to argue about in court. Is there? Didn't have a gun. Well, we told him to Gary one fool. Next, see, uh, okay. it eliminates. So, look, this my what theory. What if the what if the guy that's always ripping people off is a real big bully and he's killed a lot of people in duels, and uh, so then where's the vindication? Pra and remember, practice, practice, first practice. of all. First of all, I asked you to uh, take the stand against what you're saying to, to say why this isn't a good idea. So oh, you gave your damn. you gave your stand. Wait yeah, a minute. Yeah. I, I need a one minute here because then I have a, <laughs> uh, an announcement. <clears throat> okay. Just, just don't know right, are you with me? I hope so, but I'm against you. Okay. I forgot. <clears throat> right now I'm uh, um, burning up this minute to uh, announce. <laughs> the 420. <laughs> <laughs> You're so predictable. Look at the uh, clock, and you can tell what time it is by what Vinny's yeah. talking about. <laughs> Are you prepared? Oh yeah, always. Ready? I have the right. thing right here, man. Okay. Should we give him a, a minute early with this uh, climate time change <laughs> business going? Well, we'll go by <laughs> your clock for the 4:20. Mine. Okay, it's so, I, I will. I'll punch it in. To the uh, <laughs> chatter place. Yeah, that too. <laughs> How do you say? Hey, you started early. So, Ready, me, there what, is. what is oh, there? Right fucking there. Rule Mark, book 420. Somewhere? 420. Yeah, I was, right I was in there. Wow. Too many rules with you state people, man. Next thing you're going to want me to do is vote for something. Crying out that's loud. Some, that's some Hurricane Harvey. So to the RLA, I, be, I'm surprised so. you don't see the merits of my live by the the gun, die by the gun society. I believe uh, law, but uh, what we should uh, seek is to walk away in peace, and that that's secured in law. Yeah, right. it's secured in law. My ass, it's inspired. Everything that we go through now is inspired by law, and all the things that they write no. these fucking laws you're, for. You're you're Come confusing on. law for legal. That's, that's ooh, for the, I'm confusing. Hijack. No, the guys with the guns and the handcuffs have had it confused. I know what they, I know what I was doing. What's they, a what's a person that does the confusing called? What a confusing, confusionator. <laughs> law enforcement. <laughs> they don't know fucking anything, man. They make the shit up as they go. It, it got you have been confusionated. I once was arrested as a juvenile for stealing <laughs> my own watch. So I know from experience you, that these guys Where'd you steal it off of? Right off your wrist? See, that's like, what I mean. Didn't even notice? They got a, a phone call from somebody that described the watch I'm wearing but said I stole it. And it was so unique of a watch that when the cops saw me wearing it, they figured the, the story was true. So they arrested me for stealing it. And, and of course, it, it all got worked out the, over the next day. But you go to jail before anything else happens. So... Hmm. You went to jail? How old was you? Fifteen, I think. Oh, well, you wasn't innocent, little kid. Hey. You probably stole stuff before, right? <laughs> what has that got to do with what happened? <laughs> Whether well, I did or didn't. I mean, look, it's like uh, coming home and it, your dad's whooping your tail in for you. And you say, you ain't done nothing. And you say, well, he says, uh, that's for next time you do. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Rob wow. Burton's calls the status. <laughs> Vinny the Robert statist. Called. In yeah. a way, yeah, <laughs> kind of more than me, I would say so. Well, as much as you're against it, you have another side of you that is kind of for it because of the way you explain shit. I'm for the rightness in it, right? And perhaps and, uh, what you're talking what about. What we gotta how, do? What do we gotta do? We gotta change that that wrong. Seek that. Uh, wrong and make it right where we can you're talking and about you can't you can't wish it away and how you, it appears <clears throat> vincent not how it is we're talking about the appearance <laughs> of the delivery you moron come on hey you Go know better uber uberzilla has a message for you i don't care give 10 people an opinion and you know what you're gonna get back right 10 opinions uh, so what the fuck is your opinion worth nothing to anybody but the one putting it out. <laughs>
to everybody else is just nonsense. Just accept that. It's easier. Hey, uh, it's, it's easier to communicate after you learn that lesson. <laughs> what was the lesson again? Nobody gives a shit what your opinion is, except you. And that goes for me too. I mean, probably no, no, me no, more. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. I have lots I of opinions. Confused. I think you're confused when you said you talking about me uh, giving a crap about your opinion. <laughs> Cease and desist, you operator of words. <laughs> Who knows what kind of evil chant you're putting on me in the background here. <laughs> oh, my hex you got, you, you got your skull and, and your SCOTUS robe so you can do the evil dance. <laughs> SCOTUS? What's yeah, that? the SCOTUS got the black I robes. I can, I can close some of these. Uh, those are very popular in the, in the nether worlds where they practice the dark arts. Okay. The dark arts are practiced in the black robe. <clears throat> are you paying attention, son? You know, <laughs> not really. <laughs> didn't That's just good. didn't you know the? <laughs> you want to hear a good laugh? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, it's making Wait, me man. laugh. I hope it makes Wait, you I'm laugh. A, I'm I'm gonna mute my mic and <laughs> okay. guess I laugh. I was, I was looking. Oh God, I was looking through uh, Netflix the other day, and I, I'm still laughing thinking about the title of this. Inside, <laughs> inside the Masons. <laughs> so they they make. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. <laughs> wait. Been... Wait. Maybe if you mute, maybe you should try mute wow. your mic. Yeah. <laughs> but they they made a documentary about the inside workings of the Masons for the public. <laughs> okay. Get it? You don't get this? I mean that wait that minute, isn't the no. funniest thing you ever heard. Well, if what? you watch this inside video working? if yeah, if you watch this video on Netflix, you'll <laughs> understand how the how the Masons operate. How do they operate? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> it's a secret. And we're not in the group that knows the answer to that secret. Mm. Well, but they've got... That's why, but they've maybe got, that's why it's a secret. <laughs> but they've got people convinced they made a documentary about the Masons. <laughs> and this will explain all your questions to a, a, a population of people that don't know what the hell the Masons are. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's right in front of them, right in their face, everything they need to know, and they're looking at all the wrong shit all the time. Nice. Well, that's the way I see the the uh, MSM in the movies and the TV set. Wow. Brain control, man. They They show you what they want you to see <laughs> and how you're supposed to see it without force. It's a beautiful game. If I had that power, I'd use it too. I'd have a whole fucking planet full of people following me around like a bunch of lap dogs doing my bidding. And I'd be in charge. The big cheese. The great big orange head. <laughs> in a perfect world, anyway. In you a know, perfect world. Perfect yeah, that's for what we're me. About. Well, that's because. I'm fixing to uh, flood the chat <laughs> here. Flood the chat. Yeah. Because I. I decided what we need is a separation of dork and state, and that would oh. solve all the major problems in probably 24 oh. hours. <clears throat> Get all the dorks and put them in charge of the state. Clean it up there's in a, little, in a day. Uh, I doubt it. There's, the dorks, a, there's a little uh, play. Wait a minute. That's a little playlist right here. Uh, just dropped in to see what condition my condition <laughs> was in or yours. <laughs> or yours. Uh, yeah. Whoa. So now we're here at this point. There's nothing I don't get. Then what? Wow. So with that, I can say, sway with me. Mo, mo, mo. Yeah. Wait, wait, How wait, do you wait, like why? it? How do you like it? Mo, but why didn't mo. you? Uh, why didn't you get the gist of, in that description of this epic showing of the inside workings of the Masons? I mean, we all know whatever they're showing us got nothing to do with what they do. Unless, of course, you believe that you're being told the truth. And I defy anybody on the damn RLM to show me a point in history where the truth was told at the time it happened the way it happened. No, we always get screwed. Right. 
Have and here we go. Moon landings and all this other shit. Now we got this new one. Hey, what were we fighting about earlier? Satellites? <laughs> oh, my. I'm kind of embarrassed for you a little bit. Yeah, because Vinny believes in satellites. He thinks satellites <laughs> secure everything. And uh, I think that it's a bunch of bullshit and satellites probably ain't even out there. Just little oh, machines I, I pretending to be that. satellites. So, what, what oh, are we having the epic fight about the satellite? Um, wait a minute. Yeah, let me see. Did I, didn't I copy something about that? Or did I just put it in chat and not bring it over here? You know, uh, uh, I'm scrolling. Probably Juan, didn't. Juana Taco just wrote about something. He goes, they are already in control. And I read the thing, and the first thing I thought of is, nobody controls me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I didn't even read. I just read that one little bitty you. Wrote. You're yeah. controlling yourself, yeah, yeah, actually. As much as so, possible, yeah. I feel yeah. so. I feel you that, yeah. you don't go out and uh, do things that would put you in harm's way. Right? No, and the people I engage are always pleasant. It's almost like uh, living in a damn Disney cartoon. Everybody's nice to me. I went to go get Cirque some yarn today, and the the guy that runs the shop when his wife's not there, he's easy to talk to, and he's a rock hound been to arizona so you know we've got a little history going now it's like friendly and it's pleasant to do errands for cirque because people are nice very nice yeah but i didn't feel like that before where i lived it's very alienated in society in america yeah so we've uh we've examined some of your condition then that you were in right well my and condition we've, we've concluded that what well There's give me an example i don't of get Huh? Your well, give me an example. Yeah, condition. What? Do you, how do you mean that? Your, your condition. You've uh, placed yourself that condition, that area. Let me go back over here to chat. What's this? It's an amazing thing. I want to. I want to show you how to do something. Okay, but I'm as indoctrinated as anybody else is. As indoctrinated as hands is, just in a different way of the word. My indoctrination's got less. It's made of rope, not not barbed wire. I got more of the illusion of freedom in it. So I think better. Illusion of freedom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Condition, a mode yeah. or state of being. The organization Man Survives as a Modern Classic because it captures a permanent part of our social condition. Robert J. Samuelson. Hmm. Is that a book, The Organization Man? No, that was look like a like a thing he said yeah no, he's a def it there looks like a definition and they were just quoting him as saying it that's the way i took it but if you saw more you're the wordsmith i'm just a dork well let's do uh let's do a dot g on it then no you do the dot g i don't i don't do any I, of that i, say, I say let's uh, i did it myself well, you better man or i'll get the oh now this is here. stupid you can't you wow. can't use the from straight from Google or Merriam uh, Webster. You can't use the uh, a word in the definition of the of the so word. So it says happiness is a state or condition of being happy. Yeah. <laughs> what, well, what? That's pretty much what? what it is, isn't it? You got another way to put yeah. it. A mode or are you state of being. Are you arguing yeah. the definition? What are you trying yeah. to say a, here, A Vince? state of being that uh, we'll go with the uh, dot dict uh, definition. Let's try a uh, dot def. Wow, then. you wordsmiths are all crazy. And, and I'm the dork. Go figure. Anyway, the, is all this tickling your funny bone? Or what's? are we on a mission? What's going on? I'm lost. You lost me. It's Gave me the same one. We've got dot a separation dot of death. dork and state. There's no two ways about this. Now, you're losing me on the point of what you're doing. Where you story. are, your condition is mm -hmm. the place that you are, your state of being, how you yeah. live, yeah. how you exist, the yeah. interaction that you have. So if you was like a little uh, uh, a little video atom bouncing around in there, you know, you're 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 contained too in that point uh, you yeah. can only yeah. you, you can only yeah you can only poke it and twirl yeah. so far yeah yeah and without a baton you can't reach me i'm usually a lot faster 
Well, it's been many yeah. years now. I'm old now, but when I was younger, it couldn't be caught. Do you have tassels on yours? No, I was just Riley and you can fast. Now I'm old and nobody tra tries to trap me no more. <laughs> uh, uh, it was a strange life. you like a little rabbit, aren't you? Yeah, I was, yeah. They called me that. They said that Thanks for a couple for, of years. Thanks for Do you From, see that? Just before I turned 14, I was a problem to all the adults. And then w just before yeah. that. Yes, we've, we've had a went. therapy session already. Yeah, but I mean, I remember it still. It's like yesterday. I know. You know, the is, other day I was. Has it scarred you? No, no, no. The you, other day I was. Do you feel was, you like you should maybe go to testify before the Supreme Court in behalf of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? What, what, a, what, is, what, is, what did uh, Moose call it? What a horse and pony show. This whole thing <laughs> Horse is. and pony. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was quoting Moose. <laughs> It was yeah. funny. I thought it was. It funny. was funny. Yeah. But yeah, it's Grim so. Thanks, Gravener. He, he straightened her out. This whole fucking the, court justice garbage is so <clears throat> over fucking done. You, you cooked this egg years and years ago. I've seen it so many fucking times in so many different performances that it doesn't fool me. It's it doesn't interest me to look. I, I'm just bored of it all. Well, you're so, trying to go way ahead of us here. That's to the ending. It goes something like, uh, "Is it? Uh, it's never really over, is it?" No, Action it's always. never. No, yeah. yeah. Daily grind. That's, uh, yeah. Keep that's, it on your uh, toes. Some pretty cool words. Uh, <clears throat> let me go fetch him up. How do you uh, get? How do you get out of being ground and all that every day? Out of what? Be, by not by not watching it. All that the horror show that they call the news. Because it's always it's always bad shit that happens to bad people in bad countries for good reasons by the good guys for the better of everybody, that. and then you read about it, and then twenty years later the truth comes out. <laughs> you know, so who knows? I don't bo I don't believe anything they say. Nothing. Till they apologize for weed, I don't even want to hear from the Americans. They owe me an apology for lying about cannabis and hemp. Hemp and cannabis, my good friends. And until they cop to the, the the lie and the deception and maybe make everybody right that was ripped and robbed of their time and their fucking money and their effort over the years. <laughs> hey, in a perfect world, it's what we need. <laughs> in, a, in a perfect world, indeed. That's what we so, named it, Mister. Uh -huh. You're stuck, stuck. Yeah. Well, uh, in a perfect, alert. yeah, in a perfect world, we would get a, a, a an apology and you know some kind of financial uh, something something for all. Yeah, that for all the trouble that the population has gone through based on a lot of lies, 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 not misunderstood knowledge. Bold faced fucking flat out deception and lies. Got a whole lot of lies. Wonder why I don't want to claim the America anymore. Wow. Hey, so this is actually uh, towards the end, but I'm going to pull it out anyways here. Uh, my life, like all lives, mysterious, irrevocable, sacred, so very close, so very present, so very belonging to me. How wild it was. To let it be. What if I forgive myself? What if I was sorry? But what if I could go back in time? I wouldn't do a single thing differently. What if I wanted to sleep with. Oh, I was supposed to take that part out. What if. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What if heroin. <laughs> I was going to take that part out too. <laughs> what if all those things I did. Were the things. That got me here. Wow. What if I was never redeemed? What if I already was? What if I already was? That's a that's a movie. Wild. Uh, um, this girl goes walking the Pacific Crest Trail. It's pretty good. But anyways, there's a, there's a lot in there. Where where are we? You know, we we're, we're being judged. We go back to the beginning here in that podcast from. Uh, from wisecracked and, and where it really just like weighs ourselves in of where we are. And 
man, have we been boxed in. How do you feel boxed boxed in? No, I mean society as a, as a right. whole. I understand that. How do you I know all that I'm stuff? All that stuff we've already talked about. All that stuff, you know, uh, uh, we already know. Now what? Yeah. So I mean, we can talk about all that stuff, but it's just uh, uh, regurgitation. Okay. Do you feel boxed in now? Is that better? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I have a bigger box though. Right. Okay. So you so you accept your prison is there. You know it, yeah, but, and you know better than to openly fucking combat with it alone, right? Hey, I uh, I took the rivets off in a lot of places, so uh, yeah, I slipped through. <laughs> but, yeah, we're we're all we're all in pods or boxes. <laughs> yeah, but would you combat with this monster alone, expect and expect to beat it? Um, the I've monster I, I'm calling is no, no, no. <laughs> that that's not how it. Would you willingly fight this thing to defend your life by yourself? Would you want to go that way? Would I want to? Why no? I hear I mean, other people talk big shit about, <laughs> you know, when the shit hits the fan and all that, and then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do they're that. They're not going to like it. And they're an idiot of history. Oh, man. It would be a terrible war. A, a, a terrible world. Right. Really? Well, they're pitting your, you against your neighbor ahead of time so That's that right. if anything does go wrong, they got the upper hand to make you hate them even more. So knowing that is the advantage, that they got that kind of control over us as people within the confines of our fucking freedom. We're just lab rats being experimented on. Who, who uh, decided, oh, I heard that on BitChute. This guy named Jerry. He is a very smart redneck like you. I have much of a respect for his opinion. Tear the box apart. But yeah, he's, that's, he's pretty that's all we got to do. One, hey, uh, one rivet pretty, at a time. But he's pretty critical. He calls people that are not aware of what the truth is stupid openly. And I disagree with that too because I've just got the softer side of the indoctrination so it wasn't so hard for me to to become what I am didn't was like a normal thing. It wasn't a pain. Oh, we're lied to about money. Oh, okay, what's new? I wasn't surprised to learn that. You know, that kind of thing instead of, oh, my whole world is falling apart because that's bullshit. Wow, holy rat crackers, Batman. Who saw this coming? You know, I was told it was coming, so I believed him. I, I don't know why. Everybody else didn't listen. All my peers didn't listen. My family members didn't listen. What? What did? What was coming? What came? Did it get here? The, oh yeah, the chains. Was it already society, there? Nine eleven. No, nine eleven brought it all down. It, that was, it was a big change. Right? That was the catalyst because they'd been working up to it for about twenty years before that. But wait a minute. Hold on. What? Oh, That's yeah, just... you never said hi to the bar or nothing. You threw me all off. But this is more your thing than mine, <clears throat> you know? Well, can we say hello to them? I you tried can to do get whatever you, you want to. I don't and know. And you somehow. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I manipulated your thoughts. I, and I gave you a chance, boot. buddy. Gave me a chance. No, that was Sir okay. asking me why we didn't say hi to everybody. Thank you, thank you, Sir. Because for, for one, I got it's, stoned it's and I forgot all about them. Yeah, are you guys out there? <laughs> We're making sure y'all there's, still. Hey, we know who's Grim listening. Look, wanted, yeah, one of Taco's listening. Do the hellos, yeah. Grim, there's listening. That's right. Uh, Good Brazilla's listening. Ah, all, all of our captives are here. Some of them. Barman, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Phantom, Asmo2, Beth Z, Chloe, Colfax101, Cyborg, Noodle, Chloe, uh, Clark Barr, uh, DC, Adon, Dakota, Echelon, Flash, somebody, that's uh, some booty, you, Hootie, Gubrazilla, Gromit, IBDC, uh, Dr. Ju, Java. Uh, Wanna Taco, Kosu, Kosu, Gazintai, Layer Eight, uh, Mister, uh, Mister, Meister Brow, and uh, who's this person I'd have never seen before? Nuz Quam, Poxified, Poxifone, Poxisauce, Rain, 
RLM, a fluke in Miss Flute's Gone, the impersonator. Ha. Uh, Rob Works, Rome's Skittle, Vin E. Uh, that's all the plus peoples right there. And then if you're under there, you got Frumpy. Uh, dress is pretty sharp for Frumpy, though. Grams. That's right. And JJ's Nines and Moose Girl 2 and 3. Oh, wow. Uh, RLM Fluke. We're and packing sock. the house uh, tonight. All right. So let's see who uh, we have any special uh, mentions. Yeah, Juana Taco's got a question for you at uh, my clock. It says 1940. Wait a minute. 1943 and 54 seconds. Mine says uh, 1243, and I don't have seconds. Okay. Well, it's Juana Taco. It says, Will any of us that line? That's a question for you because this is your show. Uh, will any of this come out on the backside of the program enriched in any way? Yeah, I have a, a little blurb um, just to kind of uh, <laughs> listen listen and look along. Got jabbed in the eye by the Juana Taco. Aye. What? I'm not no help to you, mister. You're the brains behind this organization. I'm the dork. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm back here reading Kate's as a <laughs> you saw a new comment. Yeah. Nice legacy uh, ended up here. Uh nffolk.com artist. Uh, yeah. Johnson, who is he? I don't know. I don't follow any of that unless it's maybe music. The Ron Johnson project. No idea. Probably a band or something. Why? Uh, well, there they uh, are. Just well, Kate was sharing that. Well, there you go. Open those up and see people with computers that know how to work them. <laughs> hey, looky here. Uh, for you uh, non-believer, uh, Rob Work puts up a, a post from the Daily Mail about the stunning Rosetta throwback images show the surface mm. of Comet up close. You know why? I, do, you, do you know why I think you're a statist? Why? Because if you had the um, right legally to do it, you'd choose to participate in it. From the words that you use, because yeah, you well, some back people, certain, yeah, 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 I'd vote, yeah, I'd vote for my sheriff certainly. Yeah, well, County that's judge, his, and, and I would, uh, I would uh, do as I do, <laughs> an educator, because I I speak. Uh, and have spoken firsthand to um, many people that, that uh, are in uh, seats of authority here local and uh, on my travels. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they can't uh, stand in uh, deniability of, of uh, not knowing when. Uh, but you, the secret is you've got to be able to put, a, um, put it to them where they don't uh, just reject it right offhand. You've got to be able to come Speak uh, their language. First. Well, no, speak a common language of uh, 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 respect and uh, uh, to a point of perspective where you can come up and say, look, I see uh, you, I see uh, how, uh, and also consider this. Um, now, I talked a lot about uh, weed to, to all, a bunch of the cops here over time and sheriff and so forth and other issues. Um how it's you know being uh, farmed uh, by the by the feds. Uh, they're coming into counties across the uh, country because if you look at how America is set up, where uh, mostly uh, most people, uh, you know, the most of the areas covered in uh, rural areas uh, and counties, uh, they are big population centers. They're concentrated you know, in cities, of course. So. With a big concentration of folks, uh, it also affects behavior, and uh, so then you you know you insert this stimulus and so forth and get your reaction that you want and manipulate society and uh, and engineer it, uh, the social engineering as it being. So, what what do you have? You have uh, a big dictate coming from uh, uh, what is the new normal that uh, this postmodernism. So, I, how do you engage in that? Um, if you're talking about voting, if uh, if it was set up to, you know, actually be fair, it would be uh, um, areas. It couldn't be just like a little small group of people dominating 
the whole of the masses and the whole of the lands. And then that done by these non, non-governmental organizations that, uh, you know, come along with these uh, um, lawsuits that are based from fraud, many of them, <laughs> the tortoise and the hare. You know? Non-governmental. That cracked me up. Just had to yeah. say it. Yeah, well, you hit my funny bone. They they manipulate the, uh, the government. Oh, so what is the Rosetta image here? Rosetta image. Where did that come from? Uh, from uh, Rob Work. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm looking look. for the comment. Oh, the it. stunning Rosetta throwback images shows the surface of comet. Not a comet or the comet, but comet up close. The Rosetta mail is a online. Uh, it's probably just more TV. See, I'm not as easily convinced as everybody else that this shit that they show me is real. Oh, I guess this whole uh, photograph is supposed to be like a I don't know. focused view you tell of me. the uh, Scott I Snow on for it. Hey. I don't know. It could be uh, one day we will know. Somewhere out west. I'm gonna right now, it. we don't know anything. Sure take oh, a lot of people's oh. words for shit, though, you know? Look, it's got to be true. There's a computer-generated image of the uh, yeah. of a satellite flying towards it. Yeah, you know, you know what happens when I attack the medical profession. Mm-hmm. Besides nothing, do you know what happens? Besides nothing, in a perfect world. No, not in a perfect world. I'll get to that. But as it happens in the world I'm in now, I get shot down like the fucking Russian airplane in the Jewish sky. Nobody wants to know. I'm very sad. People don't want to discuss that. It rocks their um, reality. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Lucky that I was Good. open-minded enough to fucking <clears throat> listen. I uh, After, I thought you weren't gonna be lucky. I don't know. It seems to be the the way as the way it turned out. It kept me alive, bonehead. If I'd still been using those drugs, I'm sure I wouldn't be in uh, the health I'm in at the moment. My kidney would have been damaged, but years the and years condition. and years of of the yeah, because the pill damages your kidneys. It's one of the side the negative, you know, bullshit. All effects are side effects, because maybe one out of hundred people's kidney won't get damaged beyond use by that drug. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a scam. We're getting hustled. Well, just put it, put it down the sewage system and flush it back in the lake. And then I realize pump, that. But pump, there's, your po- pump your poopy. There's a whole bunch of people out there that think differently. They think like I used to about it because I, I survived what I did. So a lot of folks would just say, well, you're just lucky. And I'm going to stick with, no, they made me believe I had a disease I didn't have that more than likely isn't even real. Because I had a symptom of this disease, and I'm going to never trust them again, ever. They're going to have to scrape me up off the street after a car wreck to ever go to a doctor. I don't need them. They are a waste of my time, oh, I have spoken. Yeah, I have a very bad story, sad story from about that. For yourself? So, or what? Oh, a friend. Well, Hank Marley. We, we it's choose our party. own, yeah, so. but we choose our own roads, and you know it's not that fucking hard to make up your mind and take life as it comes and keep your fucking decisions. It's, it's another like, system of terror, and uh, they just push, push, push the medical system. I avoid them. Don't don't watch. Don't care. They can say all they want. I know the truth about it. Once you find out what the truth is, whatever that is to you, you stop looking for anything else. So all the way up to seeing that film that I saw about um, death by medicine, I had ideas of that nature already. So it just fueled my curiosity. It didn't shut me down and go, I ain't watching that. That's disgusting. And that's against the medical. It can't be true. But I could have gone down that road, but I didn't choose to. So for the people that choose to go down and block it, they'll never know. They'll never see the other side anyway. They'll only know the side they've been told. And like government, it always turns out, in my opinion, to be a big disappointment when it's all said and done. Nothing ever changes. It just only gets worse. 
the fat get richer, you know, the bankers get more control, more freedom to fuck us over. They used to pay interest on your banking. Now they charge you money for renting the bank. <laughs> it's insane. We're being ad. Well, you're a pro banker, right? You keep all your funds in a bank, right? Yeah, I work through bank. By choice or because there's no other way? Uh, it's I, it's easy for me. I pay my bills and right. that but sort of thing. You, I I have it there if I want some out. You know, I don't have that, enough that I got to worry about. Uh, is that your you choice know, or is that <laughs> just all there is? That's what I'm asking you, not what you do. I don't know. I could, I could take it and put it all in these uh, uh, bit shoots and all that other stuff. Uh, why? You know, I don't know. I uh, it's a, uh, you know, a monopoly, the, the federal system, the so-called federal system, Federal Reserve what? Notes. Any system is, <clears throat> the yeah. system I live in is. I, I, I could buy gold or silver, right? Or, well, I could buy silver, but, or small yeah. pieces of gold. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the price is right, too, right now. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, they're giving it away, so. What's the, uh. What's what's gold at? It's been up around uh, 14, 1204. Wait, no, 120330 and silver's oh, exactly. at four, well, if the which number, the left side or the right side? What is the closing side on the right or the left? Cuz the one on the right says 120430 on gold and 1479 on silver. So yeah, if, uh, whatever it is, it was cheaper the other day. 1209 would be the high on the gold then, right? Yeah, and it would, that was under twelve hundred the other day. So, mm. yeah, it was down uh, down pretty pretty good there. Did it go down to eleven eighty six or eleven ninety four? Something that high high eleven you know, hundreds. Pe people can make a lot of money in that uh, that yeah. amount. If yeah, if you're dealing in a big an enough, ounce. yeah, if you're sure. dealing in a big enough quantity. <laughs> yeah, let and me just go to my is. vault and get my gold, Vinny, and we'll <laughs> start trading it. What are you talking about? What you, you lose your mind. You got a gold vault too. Jeez. Uh, see, the the trick is, is the people that are trading the the paper gold. It's not even real. I mean, there's like the same thing with the uh, Federal Reserve. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, I know that. It's not there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. I saw make believe. Right. Uh, paper. But it works anyway. Enough. So is Bitcoin. But how? See, we're but so confused. Only. Oh, don't sing to me. We're so confused. Paper in, roses. In, no, go ahead. Bastard. In the present day, we're so bullshit and dazzled by all this nonsense that you, you can't you can't tell anybody it's all a big magic show. They don't listen. And <clears throat> the people yeah. that do listen don't know, need to be told there's no other way to survive except in the game. The game is the only game there is now. It's everything else is done. <clears throat> If you're outside of the game at this point in society with all this surveillance and shit, they know what side of the law you're on because so, they watch you. So we're, we're finished. Yeah, I know they do watch. Uh, they had the surveillance uh, set up yeah, there to, in Las Vegas. Uh, to cut out, yeah, this is my theory, to cut out the black market and replace it with GMO. <laughs> And Bear and Monsanto merge together, and they control. Now they're going to control the freaking weed. They're going to sell the public a synthetic fucking form of weed <laughs> because they got a copyright. Charge an arm and a damn leg, and not do anybody any good like they always have. When the answer is grow a couple plants in everybody's yard, everybody's fine. It's you see the answers are always too simple. The the system needs complex and. No, you have to have a degree in this to understand that. No, fucker, it's a plant. Try <laughs> uh, a little bit harder. But pra it's a, best practice. But best it's practice. a plant. This was, uh, but yeah, Benny, was, it's a plant, I'm telling you, know you what, sir. Uh, I can prove it in Admiralty Court. <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> what's Nothing uh, more. What? In best practice, what's a what if, after all, uh, an explanation just for fun? Beliefs and actions. Let me uh, let me open this up here. And, oh wait a minute, it's over here, isn't it? Already. I don't know. You're you're making. Yeah, it here it okay. is. Wait, I just clicked this button. Oh. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> I clicked it. Uh, uh, what a taco says. 
The whole what? shebang yeah. is a circus. Enjoy the show. I agree with the Juana Taco. That's the stand I got. It, the, none of this taco. is real. Nah, please. Supreme Court Justice. Are you fucking insane? You want some 80-year-old relic drooling on a fucking bib to tell you what you can do with your dick? I don't. No. No, don't thank either. What if these fucking weirdos get together and they decide that we're all a bunch of slaves and don't deserve <laughs> our rights? Then what are you gonna, who are you going to fight? <laughs> You're setting yourself up for a slaughter by nine relics in a fucking black robes dance around a skull. It's 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 in total insanity. You can't totally. put your you can't put your trust in these nine people. They're gonna fuck you. They always have and they always will. There you go. I've spoken. And want a, and want a taco. Uh, now, and this is uh, but... want, uh, fundamentals justification and explanation. Uh, about the concept of justification is uh, fundam fundamental to good, careful thinking. But what does it mean for a belief or action to be justified? In this video, Kelly sheds some light on how to access, uh, assess whether a belief or action is justified. It also clarifies the notion of justification by distinguish distinguishing it from an explanation and explaining its relationship to the practice of giving reasons. So uh, it's pretty fluffy, but uh, uh, anyways, and on down into the uh, comment section, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, redirect. So I, I found it to, to be interesting and it's be Did in you, the blog. You know yeah. what it sounded like to me? Blah, 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 blah. It sounded like you were putting uh, mustard on a, on a uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Hey, that sounds kind of good. Now I'm really Okay, hungry. well, to you it might, to me, not so much. So, yeah, kind of, not blah, 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 but, wow, when you define shit to that level, you're hiding something. <laughs> you think? You know, oh, fuck yeah, man. Things are either this or they're that. There's not 37 fucking choices. That's a bunch of shit. You're getting scammed because there's 37 kinds of potato chip, you know? There's the good air to breathe, and there is the bad air to breathe. And defining it is pointless to almost 90, 95% of the population. Hey, what is this? What? I open a, a new window. From Grimner? I was on uh, a rant about global warming. And well, stopped. keep going. Yeah. No, nah, go you interrupt. I'm not I'll go. Well, they, they tell you what's good and bad, and they lie about what's good and bad to people. But they're the authority, so the authority is expected to be telling the truth when they don't. Why why don't why do people not learn from that? They lie. If they lie about one thing, how do you know they don't lie about everything? And even if they didn't, what difference would it make if they'll lie about one thing? Fuck them. <laughs> I mean, unless you live your life like that and you go, oh, I don't care if my partner fucks a chicken at three o'clock in the morning, that's good with me. Yes. You know, well, maybe so, but I mean, if that's the kind of person that that's the majority, I'm not one of them. <laughs> you know, I got I limits. Have and, no idea how you got whoa, there. I, yeah, I'm I in a perfect world here, that. buddy. Hey, perfect yeah, world. I'm, a, Perf I'm a, perfect. over here actually in the perfect world. It's uh, reallibertymedia.com, <laughs> uh, perfect world podcast. <laughs> and uh, Grimner's built us a brand new thingy place here. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. I'm waiting yeah. for my hand to un. Get oh, we were gonna like, beg Grimner oh. for a, a new banner too for the new new name. Yeah. And he's on here listening to us because he said no mustard with peanut butter or jelly. <laughs> That's against the laws of nature. Oh shit! I'm in a group. Oh no! Yeah, what have but, I done? Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, I've chosen a favor. side. Help! I, I uh, yeah. Go ask Barman to give uh, Grimner some uh, mayonnaise for his peanut butter sandwich. He'll really like that. Wow, you trying to make mm -hmm. an enemy of the guy I just begged to do a banner for us, right? <laughs> I think he's got one right here. Look, contra he it's, it looks good in a perfect world. He made one. Uh, yeah, contrasting the occupation. Ah, okay. I'll get to all that. No, I'm, I'm, I've been playing too much tonight to click do it. All that. Click it. No, I'll close Please, something. I'll probably it. shut you down again. I did last time. No, I'm going to just not bother. <laughs> I'll do it after this. Yeah. Show. But uh, I trust he, Grimm's judgment. He, everything he's done for the dork table has been anything that he's done, I would have chosen if I'd have saw it. 
So there you go. Yeah, he he kind of went against me here on the uh, the time he put uh, uh, <coughs> at one p.m. <laughs> Eastern. I I wanted it to be called uh, at the time to be said. Uh, noon Central in the land of Ozarkia. <laughs> you got you got demoted back to um, court jester, I suppose, Vinny. Oh, hey, you, there's an S. You're not pulling any weight in the the Grimner court. It's a cool looking dude. Uh, <clears> hey, <throat> uh, maybe it's time yeah. to bribe the Grimner. Send him a big cash donation so you can get your way more often on the Harlem. <laughs> I suggest that to everybody out there on the RLM. If you need your shit done and you ask Grim to do it, don't forget to write the guy a little check for thanking him. <laughs> I try to remember every chance I get. Hey, you help me a lot too, Grim. I appreciate it. But I just can't yeah. can't resist doing a little advertising to get Grim some money so that he can take a a, a boat ride to the Caribbean. <laughs> a slow a slow boat to China. <laughs> I don't. I don't think he'd go. But you know, uh, given the money, he could. Hey, he could blow the money on weed, weed and hookers. Uh, think about that. I, weed and hookers. I, a trip to the Caribbean. You think he'd do that? How much would he, it cost? Twenty five hundred to, to take a trip to the Caribbean and. What are you, a cheapskate? We're looking six eight grand, man. Yeah, I'm cheapskate. I'm Jewish. You pay retail, man. Fuck. I'd find out who owns the boat and blackmail them. <laughs> What, what are you stupid don't you know how to do commerce you moron you find a person's weak spot and you pound on it until they give you any damn thing you tell them to give you fuck mm. you think a lousy jew i'm just saying you know nothing personal but wow you'd suck at being a jew <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know because the first rule of being a jew is if you start to squeeze don't stop until you smell shit or you're in fucking trouble so, Man, this banner looks really cool. You haven't looked at it yet? <laughs> no. I'm still looking at it. I was too busy giving you Jew advice so you can oh, succeed yeah. in, in a world. Yeah. Well, I want you to succeed. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to catch that in the past cast. <laughs> I don't want you to fail, Vinny. I want to see you succeed. I don't want to see anybody fail, actually. I'm not one of those that roots for the, the gloom and doom. I just say that I think the other person, whoever they are, should get everything that they want me to have. So <laughs> that usually works out really good. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, you're hard, you're a tough oh. crowd. <laughs> you're a tough crowd. Anyway, let's see what the Grimner has to say, being as I shut you up. <laughs> Wait, I'm back <laughs> over there. Yeah. Yeah, at uh, yeah, and we would be using the uh, twenty-four hour clock if we're using your time. So, uh, add uh, seven. What is that? Uh, Twelve. Yeah, one a taco. It's yeah. Twenty. It's twenty twenty zero six at your uh, location. No, I correct? was I was saying yeah to one a taco because uh, there's a no. little bit of community to the RLM. And I like to make fun of, of begging for money because it's everybody that does it already does it. I'm just letting them know that. <laughs> What's the rules? I missed something. Did we have some rules? No. Uh, the rule would be that Grim keeps his begging for money shit down to when it, the end of the year when they remember. But then there's everybody else that just you know keeps it on, on top. And they we send them – well, not we. So but they, are you they calling them a, a grifter? Bit. Kind of only different. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get people to send him money so he could buy some weed, and that's all. Is there a crime involved there? I um, don't know. Yeah, I think he needs some weed money, but we'll disguise it as a trip to the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he can write it off I, his I'd taxes. I'd like to go and, to uh, to the ja uh, Jamaica, man. That when? would be fun. Oh, I never will. Mental Pancakes went there. I, I know he, he did. He did. He liked it. He was a very happy with the Jamaica. Me, I don't think I'd be so happy with it. I don't like the language. I would just, just for a visit. Oh, I like the language, man. Nah, I don't like the sound of the, the way they talk. It drives me nuts. All that Jamaican shit. Mon and nah. <laughs> no, go away. Oh, uh, I, I'll hang out with the Cubano. <laughs> Jamaica me crazy, man. It's probably because of my Mexican half that that sound annoys me. Because of my Spanish side or whatever. You got a little Indian in you, too? 
not today, but in my blood, maybe. I would assume there's there's got to be a mix of that in there because the Mexicans fucked everything they could get their hands on at one time in history. How do you know? How they weren't you know? juicy, dark meat, white meat, meat, meat. It was all the same. Something to put down on the bed. And here we are <laughs> all these years later. <laughs> Did you kiss your mama with that mouth? Twice. Uh, <laughs> Asshole. Don't be, be making fun of my dead mom, you mean bastard. I'm you. not talking about you. Yeah, my Ow. dead mom, you to uh, have to knock you upside. You're my mom's little... dead too, so now you're. you're I trying. know. It, it, isn't that sad, though? I mean, the reality yeah. of it, out of sight, out of mind, but I so many things that. can bring them back to mind when you don't expect them to. And wow, it's just funny. You know, because I know, I know what you mean by by your tone more than anything else. But it's still, the words still rock me a little bit. I'm a little sensitive about my mommy going away. <laughs> I'm a little bit country. Well, it's almost been a year, so. You're what? You're a you know, little bit, I, I don't think we can work those lyrics in. What'd you say? A little I bit hope sensitive. not. A Try little, to sing yeah. that. No. I'm a little I'm a, bit I'm, sensitive. I'm, I'm, you gotta sing it, no, rock it like <laughs> I'm a little bit rock it. Well, if you shut up. <laughs> Go. Uh, I'm a little bit sensitive to the to the words of cut, the, cut, the Vince. Cut. No. Stop. Cut. No. No. Okay. You Take two. dumb, Take stupid two. animal. Sing it like you're singing. I'm a little bit rock and roll. Who do I look like? Pavarotti? Okay. Next. <laughs> What's going on with the RLM, Vinny? What are we supposed we to be the, for or against? Because we got as far uh, as but mustard on the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you liked it and two of us didn't so now we have a group now you're against a group now what are you going to do there's two of us and one of you i'd say you should surrender now before you get fucked up well we'll uh, type bad see, things on the internet we'll say bad words I to am. you sir <laughs> how, how do you lose an argument on the internet <laughs> Have you ever heard anything so? I mean, other than the other thing that made me laugh earlier, this is just about the same. Arguing on the internet is it's like pissing on it's pissing on your leg to stay warm in a snowstorm. It's a very There's bad another idea. good one from Rob Works. How do you like that title? What? Uh, invite police officers into your home with Apple Watches. Auto 911 feature. Wow, Rob. No. 911. No. Well, whatever. No, uh, no. inviting that's, the police. That's some good is, prep. Uh, you might that's as well just. Talk. You better have Set up a, for the takedown. You need one of those wills and, uh, you know, say <laughs> goodbye to your children and all that kind of shit when you do the 911 thing. What say about a wife? to everybody. <laughs> Chances are not looking good for you. <laughs> I wonder what the what the statistics are on that. You know, how often is nine one one called as, a, and then how many of those end up the sh cops shoot the whoever called them? There's got to be a statistic by now. It happens a lot. <laughs> I'm laughing at the most disgusting thing I can think of: police murdering the population. But they do it because, well, that's what you want. Let's if see you didn't I want it. If you didn't want it, it wouldn't happen in your area, wherever you live. Ooh, wow, we just got a windstorm. That was my ear. <laughs> Vinny's blowing in my ear, Grim. Stop it. Make him stop. <laughs> Make him stop, Grim. He's doing it again. <laughs> there. Yeah, childhood, huh? Hey, I grew, who's I grew this up, guy? What? It's a pawn shop guy? The pawn shop guy. I don't know what. Yeah. That, mm, yeah. This is know. his. Uh, this he must is be from, looking at uh, a link trenches from Rob Works. Yeah. He uh. says, "I'm pretty sure you're a douchebag, but I have this buddy. He's an expert on douchebags. Let's give him a call." <laughs> What's his name? Rick from uh, pawn shop. No guy. I remember playing in the Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, playing it. But that's right over know. next to the uh, federal courthouse, right there. Oh, that's why you brought it up. Well, no, he posted it. Well, Rob Works just put up a link that said this guy knows Vinny. Right. So I, I uh, walked by there. 
Okay. He's like trying to talk to me and stuff. I said, man, <laughs> reality TV. Come on. We all know your boys running the dope out the back door. Or what? Come on. Hey. Hi, hi, hi. So Vegas, is the world baby. is the world you live in actually that much different than the one I do? Um, or are you guys all just playing a big joke on me? So your world is uh, pretty confined between your domicile and uh, as far as you stretch your legs down the road a little ways. Yeah, That's I'm it. happy as a pig in this little Well, there you go. Place. That's all that matters. We just like to make sure your slop is up to standards. Yeah, yeah. So We far. have uh, yeah. some projected new ingredients uh, in the near future in your feed supply. Uh, we're looking at uh, some uh, soylent color, uh, colors. Uh, we've not yet determined the chosen Pacific color. What would be red, blue, or green, or uh, any other color for that matter uh, at this particular time. But you'll, you'll perfect, like it. You'll in see. A perf- in a perfect world, which is not where I'm living, but this is what they do in a perfect world, is they use the best available ingredients to make a good product. And we're not quite there as as people anywhere yet, but some people are closer than others. What's the product? Anything. Greed is you, a motivator. Is this the Come stuff on, that you're sniffing up your nose? Is, oh, uh, here was, we go. Has Jay Dredd, our, uh, very near and dear to many of our hearts here at Rollerbear Media, our favorite <laughs> Nazi, uh, Hans Dredd. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. As he perhaps laid the accusation. No, actually, I hate to disappoint everybody, but I haven't even, I think I had a beer yesterday. No, I smoke the hash and that's, and have an occasional drink. But no, drugs haven't entered my body in years. Okay. And there you the go. last drugs were prescribed to me by a doctor, and I got off that shit. Well, so uh, I, don't... I, I would like to redact the having sex part and uh, doing heroin that I, I posted up uh, above here in chat. That <laughs> <laughs> was, it was not <laughs> meant for uh, uh, public disclosure. It was <laughs> funny as hell, though, the way it, it wrote. I knew you didn't mean to print that when I saw it, because it was from the girl's perspective. From the link you got, but yeah, you should have edited that out. You wow, well, uh, yeah, wow. I, mean, you're, I, you're I did a whole over copy. Yeah, I watched that movie Wild, uh, uh-huh. pretty good. Yeah, uh, you're a big movie What's buff or what? No, but What's I wanted name? to see that. She hiked the uh, Pacific Crest Trail. You know, last year I got to go up and get a, a white blaze on the PC. Uh, another one on Netflix. Uh, I, I re- recognize the information from seeing it on uh, uh, advertised. She's that little old country so. girl from Tennessee. I, 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 I blank it on. Yeah. Hey, what do you think about all this women empowerment shit they've been doing for the last fifty years? Well, um, you think see, it's that's fair to, uh, that's you, so that's so. Um, I mean, you, you you're trying to it, rip it down the middle, and you what? can't. You got to peel off the layers been, that's well, been laid upon. Give me an upon. opinion on this. Do you think it's fair to the women that are alive today? <laughs> what what's gone on and how it's ended up. Do you think that's a fair, fair way for them to be treated? Women are, um, uh, by being pushed in some, some instances, but are in a better position in this world, um, than, than they had been just even just a hundred and something years ago, right? A hundred, almost 150 years ago, they was like, they didn't even have a right to vote. So, right. So now that they can be slaves and, and be right. responsible e- for their slaves, own shit. Equally, equally. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you think that's uh, a better position for them to have with the information we have now? Well, uh, I, what I like about it is uh, not the, uh, the social engineering that brings it to the point where, uh, you know, they caused the economic uh, situation that we, women are now almost uh, – uh, unanimously uh, having to go to work just like a, a man, and uh, even that's all separated as far as uh, relationships and so forth. But um, yeah. Well, which side of that stand are you on? Are you for them being slaves just like us, or are you? Against uh, I'm I'm for the uh, part about uh, where women have uh, more of a right to self determination today than uh, they had. Like I said, okay, and, and e- I even that- even back fifty years ago. Right. Uh, 
And I, I see the choices they're given today being manipulated by a bunch of crap that ain't helping them at all as far as if that's their cause, they're, they're fucking it all up. Well, by you just have to, being, uh, They're just being just the work. same as the people they're accusing of being. They're just doing it with pink instead of black. It's the same crap. So where where's the equality if all you're doing is bitching about the other gender? I don't get it. Well... Do you, uh, I've n- I've never heard you. I mean, even in our private chats, not one time have you ever fired on a female out of nowhere for no reason. If anything, you're nice to people when they're not even nice. I think uh, women do a good job as far as being a boss. I mean that. Um, yeah. Comment. Yeah, I, I've uh, I've seen how uh, I think a lot of times women have much more of an organi- uh, organizational skill. Uh, and it's my motto is lead follower, get out of the way. So uh, you can you can fit in in between there as well. So I mean, if you're going to be on a project, uh, you know, and this sounds, I guess, sexist, but uh, I I think women are better capable of a lot of things than uh, men are. Well, in this country, there is least equally represented. In that right, sir, the female gender is equally represented here as the male. No one is preferred over the other. I guess, again, it would be a matter of your interpretation, but, I mean, it's not, like, blatant here. What's blatant to me is that women are involved in everything because you run into more females than males. Even in the and city, that, in Copenhagen, the men were the caretakers of the kids and the women were the professionals in the neighborhood we lived in. Uh, male... A male victim or a, a, Not, no, a female victim. I wouldn't say that, victim. No, that was just the role played a predator. in the city where we were at. That's the, men were the, the men were taking care of the children and the women were working, doing the, the corporate crap. And it, hey, it works out better because... Hey, it's oh, fortunate. Let me get my shit. But it works out better for me because I couldn't possibly put up with that kind of life, that corporate nonsense. Having to be nice to Fire idiots. Up. Wow. Could you see me working with Hansel? Oh, you vey. Last 10 seconds. I'd be fired for clocking him in the head with my pencil. You can't hit him in the forehead with your pencil. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> but it's I- a dream. Hey, it's one of my dreams, Vinny. I want to go to Boston, work for a place that in, in Hansel goes to, and pop him in the head with a pencil think Crystal, i'll ever get there <laughs> crystalica think i'll ever achieve my goal no no <laughs> you're a you're a dreamer <laughs> oh at least i don't have very expensive dreams <laughs> yeah there's there's yeah. uh thankers and there's doers and yeah. and there's them that think about doing yeah i used to think about doing shit you know what i do when i did that what? I'd go do it. What would you do? Move, go try um, another city, see what I'd run into there, and start a whole other thing. <laughs> Just, you know, it's time for me to go. I want to go that direction, and I'll see you later. Thanks a lot for the, all the fish. You know? <laughs> <clears throat> I got a job in uh, Sacramento. And, uh, long story there, why well, I went out there, but uh, as it be. Uh, the guy, he says, uh, ask me a question. I go for, talk to this guy about a job. Well, first of all, I say, y'all hire. And he's, they say, come in and fill out an application. Then I talk to him. And he's all like, hey, I say, are, are you hiring? He says, well, come in and talk to me. I say, I ain't got time to waste being running around. I'll have a job at the end of the day. So I go see him. And you know what he says to me? How he hired I have me? No one, idea. By answering one question, he says, where's trees in the phone book? I said between truck and travel. <laughs> good, good answer. Oh, that was a true answer. Well, clever for just being, you know, on spur of the moment. Hey, what's this? Lucky you yeah. knew. could have been yeah, something I, you didn't, you weren't familiar with. Then what would you have done? I uh, so, go any, yeah, I'd go anywhere and get a job. Well, your indoctrination in life is very. Uh, Root seems to be rooted in common sense and knowing what to do despite of how you feel. 
<laughs> you know, not doing, not reacting to shit because of what you you've been conditioned to believe, but actually taking a look at something and making a decision based on knowledge, not emotion. You've evo- you've uh, developed over the years in that way, I think. Less emotion. Yeah, more just common sense. You took the how you took Hal's approach in a very serious like, way and and applied it to a different application. And you know, you're was, getting good results because of his, you know, his input into your 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 uh situation worked for you. Yeah, there's uh there, there matter of fact, I just now was thinking Shawley sent me a message asking me what's up uh, over yeah. at East Supply. Hey, cool. Uh, Walter yeah. Walter yeah. Hendricks uh Sylvaner event. Yeah. Uh very big uh uh part of my uh, brain uh, yeah. direction of fire, you know, how, how to think of uh, thinking it too, yeah. He did a show with me before he he swore off the internet for a while. I haven't seen him come back yet. Yeah. But yeah, I talked to him about it for uh, a dork table one day. Yeah, he's in he hasn't Yeah, he hasn't surfaced since. He said he was <clears throat> gonna take a break from the internet and the electronic world and just not do it. Yeah, that's cool. Get away from it. Right, but three years before that, I heard, I heard a tape of him saying, in, in his opinion, that doing the radio, he was obligated to do it, and he did it until he didn't feel obligated to do it. Now he's doing something else. Probably self-preservation, I would assume. You know, he got a better deal for a job or something that make him more money and decided to do the common sense thing. Because this is a lot of fun if you ain't got nothing better to do, and you're not dependent on money. If you need money... You don't have time for the radio to play on. Right. Well, his opinions were pretty fucking strong about shit then. I don't think he's just gotten any softer. (laughs) If anything, he's gotten harder. Because he was hard-ass about what he knew. Yeah, Walter and I did uh, uh, quite a bit of radio together. Very certain, but he was very sure of himself. There was no wondering. I never wondered what did he mean by that because he was so fucking direct about it. Stammering and stuttering, looking for the right English word or not, he always made a good point and he, he made sense explaining his side of it. And whether I agree with it or not, secondary, because it's Darryl his life Becker. he was talking about. What? Check out Daryl Becker, too. You remember Daryl? Oh, uh, mm. yeah. His work's Yeah, the, I, the name's awesome. familiar somebody you did a show with back when we were trying to do yeah. this without even decent equipment on your end. <laughs> it was fun as fuck though. <laughs> Communication. That's what I try to do. You know, I don't do a really great job, but, uh, I, I can count success and some connection. Well, so, you know, my, my dork stand on communication, Vincent. What? Flap your gums. Communication is the problem, not the solution to the problem. It's, it's actually what creates all the problems did, that we do have. <laughs> did, you, did you bump your tongue when you said that? No, it's because people lie, and the lies are accepted through the society that we live in. Instead of challenged and proven to be lies, they just say, Okay, Mr. State, if you say so. And they lay down, and they take the dick up the butt, and life goes on. Nothing changes. If only if anything changes, it gets seriously worse over the period of time, and but they throw you bones through the legal system here and again. Remember they they made alcohol against the law, and then they had a whole bunch of years of all kinds of trouble and gangs and guns and all these p- legal problems that they created. Here's and uh, then, wait wait I'm not done yeah. with my rant. And then Go. they made it legal again so that you could enjoy the luxury of the alcohol as long as you did it within the confines of your government-protected freedom. And if that doesn't strike you as a fucking con, what would it take? Now I'm done. Wow, what would it take? Isn't it a con? Oh, yeah, all of it. The minute over 150 people agree on something, you're being lied to about it. Uh, Clive and Bundy, this is a... Uh, post on Facebook from Buffy Snell and uh, about Clive and Bundy, and he says it's a golden calf. It, it was it's a court system, and he explains that uh, there is no way to preserve our rights there. 
We have to claim our rights by using them, not pleading for a judge to grant us what is already ours. God has given us our rights. Now, here's the uh, the legal tumble right here, the legalese. Uh, they are inalienable or unalienable. Uh, Hal's talked about this back and forth uh, again and again. Uh, though, uh, these words mean that something cannot be transferred to another. A lien is a right to keep possession of something belonging to another person until a debt is discharged or rights cannot be leaned. They cannot be transferred, not to a judge or any other human tribunal. Our rights to property, to speech, to worship, to assemble come from God. And if we don't exercise them, we will lose them. The fight for freedom is God's fight says Lavoy Finicum. So when a man when a man stands for freedom, he stands with God. Even if he stands alone, he still stands with God. A man will be totally vindicated and rewarded for his stand for freedom. Um to the bunny issue. It, it is it's it's really important what's going on out here. And then uh, the, the demonization by, uh, and the, the separation. And that's, uh, that's where we need to be able to come together and, uh, on the, what's going on out West at the, the land, the, the legal claims, and most importantly, the, uh, the ability to have the redress of government, uh, even, even if you were wrong that, uh, to be able to say, uh, you know, this court system's ruling is wrong and, uh, you know, you're, you're not going to come and, and just take it away from me because of uh, some trickery uh, by lawsuits from non-governmental organizations. And there you go. What are you into? Todd Engel. He, he was, uh, he was, uh, well, let me tell you what. Well, He's let me ask you a question. Wait, well, you went through all that. Let me ask you a question. How okay. do you, in, in, give me an example of. Any given day, how do you exercise the rights that you think you have? You know what I mean? Because all well, this stuff doesn't really matter to me until it's debatable online. In real life, I don't go out in the world and exercise any fucking right to do any fucking thing. I'm just nice to the next guy. And if he's well, not nice, I go around him or you know something, avoid it. What's it's going not. on in the West? Then let me give you an example, because you know, say that ain't going to affect you. They keep drawing the lines in. You got to stay within the lines. Keep uh, uh, restraining and restricting uh, people, and and then through uh, thievery, uh, through the court systems, they're they're taking people's what belongs to them. This is uh, uh, goes against you know what is what is right. Law uh, represented as God, uh, natural law. Uh, some people say it's what's self-evident and that, uh, um, you know, goes to your system of dueling in a, in a sense that uh, no one has the right to protect their life and liberty, uh, their property, right? Well, what if you go that way? You beat the system? Do you okay, I, don't, I don't think anybody should ever be forced to have to defend their fucking property. It's a man-made problem. <laughs> It could be dealt with outside of law. You don't need all that shit. All that shit is just a way to steal from you with the uh, the permission of the public and a, a, an armed gang behind it to keep you, you know, getting what you want. Without the guns, you got nothing. Okay, you in the meantime, enforce... that's what we have. In the meantime, that's what right. we have. Right. right. But by what? Do you change? Do Can you change it? Do you make your occupation? Uh, Actually... Which... Well, what I think I did was I changed the playground I was playing in, and, and somehow I slipped into this place where they don't play that way. It's it's alien to this community. They're they're different. It's a different culture. They're not like that. And if you want to go in into that greed and shit, you have to go to the bigger city. It doesn't it's not so pre prevalent in the small town. People kind of need each other around here, so. They don't tend to step on the toes of the guy they might need help from tomorrow. 
That's that perfect world. Well, I was walking down the street. I told Mary this once on the dork table. And uh, as I'm walking past a building, there's a car and the couple and the woman is on the ground. It's all I know. I just walk up and the woman's on the ground and it looks like the guy's trying to help her up. And he's a little older than me and he's having trouble. So I put my backpack down and I walked over and I grabbed this woman by her arm without thinking and I tried to pull and she was like a feather. I had to release the amount of pressure I was putting on her and just like just ate her up. She was like a feather, right? And I ran into these people a couple of weeks <laughs> later and they were, oh, I remember you from help. Thank you very much. And these are the kind of results that I get. I don't have problems here. Nothing. I run into somebody that needs help or I get out of somebody's way or I'm in somebody's way and we smile because I wasn't paying attention and life goes on. You know, there's no shoving da, and pushing. Da, 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 life goes yeah. on. Yeah, but there's no shoving and pushing me first and then you. It, it's a different world. It's calmer. But in the city, it's a little more chaotic and rushy and hurry and me first and then you and I'm in a, you know, I got to be there at 315, get out of my way, elbow to elbow traffic on the walk. Yeah, you'll see some uh, pretty good, uh, cool uh, video in the playlist and for the soundtrack for today that's not played on air. <laughs> it's being Don't. played in the background in my mind. <laughs> well, yeah, this was your, your, your mainly your project. I just came along to pester you and interrupt your shit. Yeah, do all the uh, yeah. the button push. Yeah. yeah, we'll do the dork table thing, and I'll push you around, and we'll do this thing, and you can push me around. But I still think you're wrong, and being a status is uh, a waste of your energy. You should I'm, put it I'm toward not a, the... I'm not a status. Yeah, you are. You should put no, your forces I, I this. have the same values as... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm an anarchist. That, <laughs> so that very real... Uh, I know, I know, I know. No, I know. I know. No, yeah. I, I know. I'm giving you a to hard say time. That, I'm sorry. To say that you need people that would say, uh, let's go catch this bad guy. He stole my stuff. Or uh, let's go catch this bad guy. Uh, he uh, he killed my dog. Or worse. Right? Uh, what would you do? You got to have people like that. Are you, you know, in a in what is described as, a, a finger quotes there, anarchical society, there would be no police. But yeah. you would. There would be people that would be hired, like bounty hunters. Or and, not even uh, hired, but just available. And, and they're, they're just their presence brings that calm and security to the group. So you see, you know, the problem what, is not in the, uh, the action. The, the problem comes in the, uh, the po policy of police. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. And where it's, it's hijacks the power, right? And I've yet to see anybody come to confrontation either without the police around or with, I've seen the police and they're, they're very, they're, it's a different world. They're civilized. They had uh, a few times they'd come up to the grocery store. I guess they had a couple of people over the time with shoplifting and I walked by on two different ones and there was no handcuffs and no bullying. It was just, they were talking about whatever they were talking about. Where? Where, so where you're I'm at? at yeah, where I live. So I might even be wrong about what the cops were talking to, who they were talking about, but they didn't have them in handcuffs. But it was obvious the police had been called or they wouldn't be there. They don't come looking for nothing here. So the only time they're here is when they're requested, and that's if there's even a car close enough to come. Because sometimes there ain't. They got like one car that covers uh, 60 miles of this area. They're just not going to do it. They don't need it, I guess. I don't know how to explain it to you where it would really make sense from where I grew up from. You know, if somebody was telling me what I'm living, I would think they were talking a bunch of shit. Nobody's like that, and people aren't nice. Well, okay, because that's what I thought. You know, Then I got here and went, wow, what a difference. And not that Copenhagen was... was not pleasant. It was just so crowded to me. Ah, uh, city. You know, I like this skulls. Is, well, man, you get six cars in a row here, you got a traffic jam. <laughs> this is small town, man. Tiny. Yeah. And it's so small that I could walk across the damn street where there's uh, the train station's got a, a 
a road that goes like in an S. And if I started walking into traffic, Serpentine. the people would more than likely stop for me because it's such a windy road. They don't go that damn fast. They might not have expected a person in the driveway, you know, in the walkway. So they're, they're trained to abide by us here. If you're walking or on a bike, you got more right than if you're in another car. Well, so all, all these all these ideals that the city has seems to work fine in a small community. But once you get past a certain population and you start mixing all these different kinds of people together, the results are chaotic. And it, it's not by some coincidence that this happened, people. They, they knew this. That's why they did it. <laughs> it's very profitable. A lot of money in it. Even though I say the money is all bullshit, there's a certain amount of reality in it with people that play in it. I choose not to. That's you know my personal choice. It's not very popular. Everybody want to be rich and have a lot of money. Ooh. Not me. I kind of like the nice, quiet, um, easygoing life where people aren't demanding of me. Want Want to know shit and have to have things and do this and do that. Do you know uh, what diesel therapy is? No. Uh, looks like it's no fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> looks Todd, like it's no fun. <laughs> Todd, Todd Engel. Under, uh, yeah, he's uh, been under the diesel therapy. This comes from uh, my friend Sherry Duvalli from Readout mm -hmm. News. Uh, that's where they bounce you around. They handcuff you in the back of, uh, where you're sitting on a hard plastic and your, your feet are, uh, handcuffed down and, uh, your hands are put, uh, sometimes in the, uh, cuff covers, uh, you can't even, and then down to the bench and you can't even scratch your nose. Uh, wow. ter terrible, terrible conditions. Uh, Sherry Schiller's, uh, uh, example from, um, uh, Todd, uh, and also this other fellow here, uh, George Hansen, said, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bad business. Uh, check out more right there. That, uh, he talks about how he was uh, just tortured, tortured, he, even to the point where he'd have to fast uh, so he didn't have to worry about uh, uh, soiling himself. Mm. And, and this is uh, this is a part of the wear down. And. I've seen where they're going for people like uh, uh, Rick Koiber, um, the uh, uh, free capitalist. So he's been convicted in a third round, a third attempt by prosecutors up in uh, Utah and uh, looking at 25 years, which would be the rest of his life. Wow. It's a very evil uh, system. Uh, yeah, I did film, uh, uh, do, did some film with uh, there with uh, him, Roger Roots, uh, uh, Neil Wampler, uh, uh, so many other uh, folks there. Uh, the, while in Vegas there, while all this was going on here this uh, past winter. Do you even have a side to stand on anymore, or you must be conflicted with all the insider trading knowledge you got? No, I didn't get that memo. There's nobody to be loyal to. I mean, Christ, most of the RLM knows that. We got to be loyal. Got to be loyal to uh, what's yourself. Free. Well, what's to free. yourself. The rest of it's a bunch of shit. You know, just like um, Rob Works' opinion or my opinion or Grimner's fucking opinion. It's just an opinion. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't sway anything. You're not changing anything. You're just having fun on the internet. And if you take it any more seriously than that, then you need to use your ignore block button and stop communicating with that other person. That that seems to work for me if I just cut them out because there's no communicating. It's always name calling and you're stupid and I'm stupider and I'm stupider than you, so you're stupider than me and it's not, no it goes, it goes nowhere. It's pointless. It, it, it died uh, as entertainment a long time ago, but now it's just boredom. Well, yeah, but I miss half the conversation because I don't want to hear it anymore. I think they ought to have a uh, nanner, nanner, nanner uh, button. Uh, <laughs> no, because, well, <laughs> water sinks its own level in my estimation, how I see it. So when the water's not at my level, I avoid it. There's no reason to join it. 
Okay, here's uh, well, here's from Wanataka. Wanataka. Yeah, he's a bit busy at Boston on the RLM. Speaking good. of dueling, he says, should yeah, Cliven yeah. have dueled with his oppressors? And I answered him right after that. What did I say? I don't know. Tell me again. With the leader of them, not everybody. That's the whole point of He's an old man. Dan, so, dirty Dan, so, he could have out Drew O'Cliven. Not sure. He, I'm saying, see, everybody still overlooks the fucking reality of this, is if people were threatened with their fucking life on their honor, they would be more honorable. Things like this would never happen. It would happen for two or three days, get rid of the screwballs, and then it would stop and people would be more serious and go, hey, wait a minute. If I accuse this guy of something he didn't do, I got to face him. Holy shit. I can't hide behind lawyers for 10 years and and drain him of his wealth. What kind of world are we in? No, you got to be responsible for your own fucking mouth and back up your own fucking play and leave the rest of us the hell alone out of your fight. You're like leaking the... uh propagandized version of uh, anarchies. <laughs> hey, read, read right there. <laughs> what Juana Taco said. <laughs> I, I well, think that's my, was but, it the big one? Oh, Vincent, I thought it might have been the big one. Vincent, you're well, misunderstanding. You're misunderstanding. Maybe I, you know, key, I, I key have point. to be. I mean, I'm telling you. No way. There well, is no tell- way to live in the free world that I came from and and have a yeah. nonviolent stand. You get you get fucked over all the time. So I learned if I want to live in the free world where people don't physically violate my fucking space because I got a badge, I got to go somewhere else. <laughs> that was made clear after I went somewhere else. I didn't know it when I was there. I saw it that way after I'd left. <laughs> so hindsight. The long you know, arm of the law, huh? Yeah, the, the the chains have tightened so much in the last, even the years before I left, they were tightening. I said that to everybody. I went, wow, this is getting ridiculous. You, everywhere you go, there's trouble. I mean, if two guys had a fight in the bar I used to, one of the bars I was frequently using, and other people got involved in this fight between two guys, then it turned into a brawl, then it's out in the parking lot, and you got two people that, turn into a riot in the parking lot because they're fighting wow who wants what what happened to just fighting with it out with whoever your problems with how do you bring the whole fucking room into it and life was normal like that at the end in north carolina to rain to rain in lawlessness that that's why that's why you need uh, people, no matter what the situation in the world we live in, you cannot go from where we're at to a perfect world. I mean, we can expose all the uh, uh, the venomous uh, uh, parts of the system that causes the world to be what it is. And until uh, there's a consciousness of, of enough people that say, wow, uh, everybody knows it. It's, you know. It's common at the water cooler. Everybody's talking about it. Yeah. Then, then why no change? Day, maybe, but well, you can't have it overnight. You can't go from here to there. So there's no magic easily button. Yeah, but there's always been an invisible prison. That, that yeah. wasn't well, just created. That's, that's where we're at. They, they just it? rewrite the laws to confuse the voters. Confusion. Wow. Confusion. I, I, I got now I got I'm getting scolded by the wife about some crack I made. Which Poor crack? thing is I have no <laughs> wise idea. crack. Yeah, I'm in a prison here by God and country. Wow, what a problem to have. <laughs> I'm married. Holy shit. I don't have no freedom. Oh, poor me. <laughs> uh suffering I do for you guys, if you only knew. <laughs> so a year ago, uh, I what? just uh Got into Vegas a uh, year ago. I remember that. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, you were visiting with your brother and shit. Yeah, yesterday was uh, 1 October, and uh, Guberzilla is the one who uh, uh, told me about it. It was in the, like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, mm-hmm. while, I mean, everything was still you know, wild and woolly going on down there. Uh, the, the 
uh, one October, I think, is what they uh, deemed the henceforth to be called. Yeah, because you Vegas got there shooting. after the shooting, right? Yeah, I went down uh, a couple of weeks later on uh, October the 13th and uh, did a, a live call in with uh, Grimner. Uh, I walked around, I shot video, I uh, talked to some, uh, well, a cop, uh, a cop there in particular, and uh, yeah. kind of wish I'd have recorded that. But, uh, oh, you uh, dork. And I walked uh, walked around and I noticed the uh, windows from the uh, Flamingo that mm. uh, they were openable. They could have uh, over, because that was all the c- controversy, you know, going on about multiple shooters and so forth. Ah, uh, yeah, still a lot a of uh, no. I Tropicana. thought they tore the flamingo yeah. down. Tropicana, I'm sorry. Oh, the tro. Oh, make it okay. Confusing yeah, an old man. You uh-huh. okay? I thought I saw something destroyed that wasn't destroyed for a second there. <laughs> hey, beetle. He's not listening. No, but he's he doesn't have speak. Up. Yeah, he doesn't have. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'm just still go gonna say hey. lard him. There's a uh, there's Ariel. Uh, that is uh, Ryan Payne's girlfriend. I met her in, uh, in Ryan. He was freed here and there in Vegas. Hmm. Well, he was. Uh, so you don't think I live in a perfect world, huh? Yeah, probably not. Wow. What? How would I have to? What would I have to do to convince you that I'm I'm happy in this paradise? <laughs> That's too funny, Vince. <laughs> yeah, <geez. clears throat> yeah. Uh, you'd have to well, try really hard. But anyways, a year uh, ago yesterday, uh, uh, Bran Thornton, my friend Bran, his uh, uh, nephew William King, he uh, he got hit there um, in, in the uh, was at the Route 92 Harvest Festival. Um, and a year later, he took this picture, and it'll be included in the uh, in the blurb blog here. Blurb blog. People see it. Yeah, it's a pretty neat picture. Sunset. Uh, one year later, <laughs> Grim put up a link. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry, Vince. <laughs> this let, has just been a funny show for me. <laughs> let let well, me come see. Oh yeah, former Trump aide predicts Black Lives Matter will riot. So whether they riot or not, you read that, and there you go. That's all they need. There you go. It's all it, that's all that matters is that you read that. I wonder how many people read that. Huh. Wow. Because if you write it down, it's, it's true. Got to be. Wow. Well, then Black Lives Matter is going to riot. wonder where they're, they're going to riot. You think they'll riot here? That stuff was getting real out there, especially on the uh, uh, up in the northwest. Uh, big pushback to the uh, uh, the Bundy crowd, you might call them. Then those uh, people that are are standing up and standing against uh, some oppressions. But I thought white people were on the menu this time, and it was the white folks that got to start unifying so they can preserve their whiteness or be obliterated. It, you know, it's always somebody. That's what somebody Why not said. You? So figure what what if you get fifteen percent of the population is white, that that's enough to scare you guys enough into thinking you'd be wiped out. Did it to the niggers. They did it to everybody else. The fuck? It's just your turn. Mm. Jews play that game all the time. Uh, ah, think, six million I dead. You're, We're so you're persecuted. Too, you're too white to be saying that. Why? Well, I, I live in I live in Whitey Land. What's gonna there's happen? There's no there's no black folks around you couple i i don't see color so much that i you know like it, i got to think about it yeah i saw a couple of black kids today but i can go weeks without running into people of any color outside of the middle east and to me that's middle east there's a difference between the middle east and blacks they're not the same that's why they're in the middle east and the blacks are in the africa because they're not the same oh you know what else i read what else a couple months read? back, I read that there was black Indians in the south of America. Yeah, there's uh, evidence for that. There's uh, well, quite, kinda, quite a, quite a mingle of races, if you can call them races, in the Americas. Uh, um, from Vikings and uh, before that, I think Mesopotamia. Yeah, but you know those horror stories that, that are right. taught in school. That's what they mean. 
Huh? They, they came on overcrowded, diseased boats to farm the land. All right, come on, please. So I read something alternative to that that said there was a major, not a majority, but a minority of Indians with dark skin. So you're reading stuff that's 100 years old. You weren't there to see it, so you only have your opinion to work off of. <laughs> You know, it just makes more sense that there was blacks already in the South. And maybe some people tried this shit with Africa, but it couldn't have been as big as it was. And the way they described it is unsanitary and self-defeating. That's not how you run a business. <laughs> so, you know, they got people, I mean, still today, they got people convinced the worst horrible shit that you can do to other people is going to get them to raise cotton for you. Right. Yeah, you whip me with a fucking whip and I'm gonna go out and pick cotton. Are you insane? <laughs> it's not it's not it how happened. slavery's up. Well, okay. Every no, couldn't be. Really? There there had been too much revolt. Yeah, if you treated everybody that way, nah. No, nah, it doesn't work out in it's as as insane as the um Holocaust thing numbers. You know, ovens and cooking people 24 hours a day for 50 years to get 6 million cooked. I mean, it's ridiculous. Just as ridiculous as if you beat all your slaves, you don't get no slaves. But what, like, the state does now, they don't shoot everybody. They just shoot occasionally, you know. Kill a dog here and there. Just keep everybody in line and afraid of that bullet being aimed at them. Well, absolutely. Hey, uh... My friend Dave, uh, skater dude, he replied uh, uh, about the diesel therapy there. and He says uh, <laughs> diesel therapy sounds like absolute torture. Those types of buses should have proper seats for long drives. It also seems unfair that Todd got punished while the people that benefited from his obstruction and, and extortion actions got away with it. Makes no sense. So, Does anything he, he actually sees, make sense? Really, come on. Well, no, no, a lot of things don't do that. No, when they're explained, even when you get the truth, it's still like, wow. But when you I look at uh, mm. when you look at the way the story is told, remember, go to the end. That way you can uh, back up and see why. Now, for once, I'm not arguing. We're coming to the uh, end. I was trying to agree I'm, with you on my way out about something. I appreciate it. <laughs> I got somebody here too, and uh, so let me. Uh, let me give you this. I had, close. I had a lot of fun too. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. A lot, thanks. Hold. Hold on. Just, up. Hold on. Don't go nowhere yeah. yet. Yeah. 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 Come in. Hold on. <laughs> Those are my ears. Good lord. <laughs> You're welcome. Move the mic, you monkey. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with you? Uh, I saw it with a microphone. I wonder if I could file a suit against you. Trying. Jew lawyer to, to represent. Try, <laughs> let me finish this real quick, and I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. Trying to get up that great big hill. Our destination. Hold on. I got to go. Bye bye. Hello? Well, that closes the show. He had to go. Bye bye. Anyway, tonight was the first episode of the new show we called In a Perfect World Contrasting the Occupation. Figure that one out. Vinny wrote it just for the RLM. And uh, tomorrow we have Wednesday night with Miss Mary on the rocket chair where she does her alter ego, Graham Z. <laughs> and uh, I think she comes back on Friday. And then after that is the either Grimner alone or Grimner and the Moose with the Freaker's Ball. And then uh, that's it until the dark table. So I'm going to say thanks a lot to everybody for playing Roger Wilco. Here I, here I Wait, am. He came back. Never mind. <laughs> let me let me finish that real quick. Uh trying to get up that great big hill uh for for a destination. It's uh really never over. Or is it? Action always. What's We're going a train on? Wreck video. Uh, I don't know. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thy glorious warfare's past, the battles fought, the race is won. Charles Wesley. So, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in, folks, and uh, sorry about the interruption. Um, <laughs> yeah, I told him about the lineup, and that was it. Good, good. Thanks, Flash. Absolutely, Captain Vincent. Pastas, uh, pastas. And we'll see you Saturday on the Dork Table program.
Bye-bye.